Hey everyone, it's Ms. Carlson here to talk to you today about acids and bases, which is covered in Chapter 8 of our textbook. Make sure you're taking good Cornell notes as we go through this video lecture, and after you're all done, you can form questions towards your notes to help you review uh, for these concepts later. Now let's go ahead and get started with what acids are. Now the word acid comes from the Latin word acidus, which means sour. So most foods that you think of that are acidic have a sour taste to them, like oranges and lemons, limes, things of that nature. Now there are also acids like stomach acid that helps us digest our food, and that is extremely acidic. Um, and unfortunately when we get sick and if we ever throw up, that burning sensation that we get in our throats from throwing up is due to that stomach acid, so it burns. And most acids do burn. Now acids are also essential in the chemical industry. For example, there are more than 85 billion pounds of sulfuric acid produced annually in the United States. Uh, we use sulfuric acid for many things, fertilizers, detergents, uh, paint dyes, plastics, pharmaceuticals, etc. Vinegar is something that we cook with a lot and some of you that like Subway might like vinegar and oil on your subs, um, but it is also an acid and it can be used to preserve foods. Now bases are on the opposite end of the pH scale, which we're going to get into here in a second. They actually have a bitter taste um, if we're talking about foods, but if we're talking about uh, cleaning products, which most um, cleaning products are made are bases, uh, they have a slippery feel. Um, can cause skin oils to transform into slippery solutions. So, like I was saying, most of our cleaners are made up of sodium hydroxide, which is a very um, strong base. It's also known as lye. About 25 billion pounds are used in industry for the production of various chemicals and also in uh, the pulp and paper industry, so um, that's kind of interesting. If you've ever had to unclog your toilet, liquid plumber is probably one of the most basic things and it reads at the very highest level of 14 on the pH scale. Now comparing the two, acids are chemicals that donate a hydrogen ion or which is basically a proton, so acids have more hydronium which is what this chemical formula is, hydronium. Looks like H2O, but with an extra H. And they read a less than seven on the pH scale. Bases are kind of the opposite. Um, they accept those protons from an acid, or hydrogen ions, and they, are more, they have more hydroxide in their chemicals, and they are greater than a seven on the pH scale. So when I say hydrogen ion, or uh, show you this chemical formula here. I'm just talking about a bare proton basically because that's what a hydrogen ion is. Hydrogen member is atomic number one. It normally has one proton, one electron, one neutron. So in these situations we consider it a bare proton. Now neutralization is when we have a reaction between an acid and a base and we can use a pH chart to measure the acidity of a solution or a chemical or a food. So some acids and bases are going to be stronger than others, and that's what the scale is used for. Um, but just know that the stronger the acid, the more readily it's going to donate those protons or hydrogen ions. For example, hydrochloric acid reads very, very low on the pH scale. Opposite for a base. Stronger the base, the more readily it's going to accept those uh, protons or hydrogen ions. So sodium hydroxide is one of those stronger bases. You can assess the strength. Um, by an acid or a base by how much of it remains after adding water. If there is less that remains, that means it is stronger because it's either more readily accepting or donating the protons. Um, if it's greater, then it's weaker because it's not doing those things as much. Now, some solutions can be acidic, basic, or neutral, but also can be amphoteric, which means that they can behave as equally as an acid as they can behaving as a base. Now a more common example of that is going to be water because water reacts with itself. And for every hydronium formed, there is one hydroxide formed. Therefore, we kind of consider water, even though it's mostly neutral, it's a weak acid as well as a weak base. And so this pH scale I've been referencing, it's a numeric scale used to express the acidity of a solution. Now, an acid or something that's acidic, member has more hydronium than it does hydroxide, and it is a less than seven on the pH scale. Basic solutions then, or basic substances, have more hydroxide than they do hydronium, so they're greater than seven on the pH scale. 
a neutral solution that is equal in both hydronium and hydroxide and equals about a 7 on the pH scale. And finally, here we have a pH scale example for you. It only shows the middle ranges from 3 to 10. Anything that is alkaline or is said to be alkaline is more basic. So that's just a fancy word for being a base. Um, a neutral pH that, again, I said is about at a 7. Most tap water is that uh, nature. And then acidic pHs, again, are going to be less than a 7. Uh, there are examples over here of each for you to kind of browse through. I also have a video that I'm going to play for the rest of the notes to kind of help answer some questions that you might have. So please continue taking good Cornell notes until the, the finish of this video I will play now.